former President Trump. Get a life, man. Welcome to Joe in Babylon. This is Joe. President Trump, after a long day, is kind of tired and grouchy and turns on Trump and the reporters. All to for total rebuilding. It's going to take several billion dollars. It's not going to be a matter of just a little bit. But we're providing now to make sure people have the emergency relief they need. The dollars just to be able to get a prescription filled, to get a baby formula done. All the things, that $750 that you're talking about, but Mr. Trump and every, all those other people know it's a lie to suggest that's all they're going to get. That's bizarre. It's bizarre. they got to stop this. It's, but there's going to be a need for significant amounts of money. We're already underway of trying to calculate what the cost will be because we don't want to mislead anybody. We want to make sure all the costs are able to be covered. Have you spoken to Speaker Johnson about coming back before the election to vote? No, I haven't. Mr. President, so are you calling? I think Congress should move as rapidly as they can, particularly on the most immediate need, which is small business. But are you President, the vice president said yesterday that, that FEMA has what it needs. There's enough resources. They don't need, the Congress does not need to come back, right? FEMA has its needs. That's different than SBA. Okay, so SBA, they need to come back and do it. Yeah, but they're going to need a lot more. Mr. President, what, um, what did you, uh, what did Prime Minister Netanyahu tell you about his plans uh, relating to retaliation? He's coming over to help with the storm. Are you kidding me? Mr. President Trump, former President Trump, get a life, man. Help these people. Will you hold him accountable? You said you were going to hold those accountable. Public will hold him accountable. You better in the press hold him accountable because you know the truth. Will you, do you plan to speak with former President Trump? No. 